The history of the Wisconsin Technical College System is really a history of responding to change, always reinventing itself to meet the needs of the day. For example, when the first continuation school started in 1911, they were for youth uh, 14 to 16 years of age. And if you look at the pictures in the State Historical Society of the young people in those schools, they were children. And it's very clear that they were very young. And then uh, the Depression came along and suddenly there was a whole new group of people who needed help from the vocational schools as they were called by the Depression. World War II came along and things changed again. The, uh, the training uh, that the vocational schools could offer was needed for the wartime effort. It was no exaggeration to say that vocational schools went 24 hours a day during World War II. Sometimes instructors were in the plants, training people in the plants. Uh, more often they were right in the vocational schools. Uh, women were training in things they had never trained in before to go into wartime industries. And during that time, uh, and we know that America had a tremendous capacity to produce wartime material. And in Wisconsin, it was the technical, the vocational technical schools that were producing these things or teaching people how to make them. Uh, and so I think the fact that we have had five name changes really attests to the fact that we are a, a fluid organization that uh, we aren't just set on, on doing one thing, although at the same time, we have kept very constant to our purpose of training people to, for gainful employment. So there's a thread that has stayed the same. It's training people for the labor market. And yet how we do that, uh, whether we do it through classes or on-the-job training or online, that changes with the needs of our students and the workplace.